Well, I am so thrilled to have Dr. Trudy Pieper back with us. Um, Dr. Trudy, if you haven't seen her before, is a naturopathic doctor, and she's based out of Johnstown, Ohio, which is in Southern Ohio. But I am so glad that you visit us here in Lima. It's such a, pl a privilege and a pleasure. I always enjoy coming. Uh, the trip is uh, beautiful and yes. it's a nice time of year to be here. So thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. Well, we are going to start talking about something very familiar to um, folks right now with this season is pumpkins. And they are fun to look at and they make great pies and yes. <laughs> they're great desserts, but they are also good for our health. Very much so. It, it's always amazing that God creates such beautiful vegetables for us and the orange gourd and that's what the pumpkin is it's a gourd um, it has many health benefits and if you will gather pumpkin and besides enjoying the pumpkin pie yes if you take the seeds out and eat them you will find it will help your sleep well this it's interesting that you mentioned that because it seems like just recently over the last year i have seen what's called pepitas in the stores. Yes. I've often wondered, are those a nut? Um, you know, I've purchased some, put them on salads, but that is a real valuable um, item there, isn't it? It is. Pepitas is, are just the seeds of the pumpkin. Yes. Where they've taken the white, thin skin off of them and they've been roasted, and then you use them. They're loaded with zinc, which is good for men's health, particularly prostate health. Uh, they're also good high in a lot of minerals, but mostly, I see that they're best for sleep because when you eat uh, the pepitas, it goes into your system and your system then breaks that down and turns it into tryptophan, which we've all heard at Thanksgiving with turkey. Oh yes. But actually there's more tryptophan, it's an amino acid that is found in the pepita seeds. Mm -hmm. And then the tryptophan is turned into serotonin, which then is turned into melatonin, which helps you sleep at night. So if you eat a handful of those an hour before bedtime and you will find that your sleep is gonna be much better. Is there a certain amount of time prior to sleep that you need to ingest these, or? It, it takes a little, digestion takes at least 20 minutes. Okay. So no, if you, if you don't do them for at least a half hour before, you won't see the benefits of that. Okay. To do that. And it's a handful. It's not like you have to eat a whole bag of no, them. It's, you, technically it's a half a cup. So okay. it's just like a nice big handful of those to eat those. And, and additionally, it gives you fiber. So there is just nothing bad about pepita seeds. I guess They're not. And like you said, they also help with, um, those who might be suffering or prone to um, being diagnosed with prostate cancer. Absolutely, and um, the, the zinc in them is very high. And so you, it's even you can get more zinc from eating the handful of, of seeds than you can from taking a zinc capsule or a tablet. So, and it's always better to take your, your minerals and vitamins naturally whenever you possibly can. Yeah. Another good thing about them is they're very alkaline. And most people today, their diets are such that we have a very acid diet. And we know that acid promotes illness. Okay. So anytime you can eat a food that's gonna alkalize your body, you absolutely should eat it. Okay, so um, for those of us who are using pumpkins right now as decorations, I, unfortunately, a lot of times they get thrown into the garbage, yes. tossed out into the field. Um, what can we do to make our own? Do we always have to go to the grocery store for these? Absolutely not. It is so simple. Once you pull those seeds out of the pumpkin, mm -hmm. you rinse them off a little bit, pat them down, you take them and then you will uh, put them in water and boil them in salted water for about 20 minutes. Drain them off, put them on a cookie sheet, drizzle them with some extra virgin olive oil, bake them for, roast them about 400 degrees for 10 minutes, flip them over, and roast them again, pull them out, cool them down, and eat them. So th the seeds themselves are covered yes. um, in a harder shell. Are we able to eat those as well? Yes, the shell doesn't hurt you, it's more fiber, but okay. it, they, once you roast them, it comes off very easily. Oh. So it's a very easy thing to roast them and just kind of just rub them in your hands or take uh, something to go over them, and those, the, the little thin white will come right off of them. Okay. You know, the sleep um, issue is a huge one. Um, for a lot of people today. I don't know, um, you know, in your practice, if you've noticed a greater degree of stress um, or what is causing our sleep problems right now? People are more sleep deprived. Um, we're too busy. Is that what it is? I, I really think that people plan too much in a day's time. And then by the time it's time to relax, they cannot relax and go to sleep. And I see that a lot in my practice. I just, I'm just, you know, they're so tense and they have so much going on. They've done so much caffeine and so much sugar throughout the day. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. They're pushing their adrenals to the max. 
and what happens then, it shoots out cortisol. And so cortisol should be lower at bedtime so you can sleep. What we're doing is we're pushing ourselves so hard that we are, our cortisol level is still high at nighttime and it's very hard to go to sleep. And I bet you doctors um, <laughs> suffer the same uh, symptoms, don't they? Absolutely, mm -hmm. we do. It's always hard. Um, I personally have to drink a cup of chamomile tea uh, every night when I get ready to settle down. It calms my nerves, calms my brain, helps me not to think about things and do something very relaxing. Um, either watch something on television that's very uh, not, that I don't have to think a lot about, entertaining, right. and then I'm ready to go to sleep. Okay. So um, getting back to the pumpkin seeds again, this is really relatively easy. And I have had the um, pepitas before. And it's not a, a, a distinct taste, really, is it? It is not. Uh, I don't think they have much taste at all, no, personally. No, And like you said, to put them on your salads, mm -hmm. it's a great way to use them. To throw them on there, it just gives a little crunch. It's like having the crouton. It's just a little yeah. crunchy taste to it, a little variety to that. Yeah. So add them whenever you possibly can. Okay. They're economical, they're easy, and get your husbands uh, to eat them. Absolutely, and my husband is the one who has the sleep issues in our family, so there, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. Trudy Pieper, thank you so much for being with us again. Thank you, my pleasure. All right, back to you. Well, thank you, Dancy. And now that we've learned about the health benefits of pumpkin seeds, it's time to learn how exactly we go about making those in this week's Lost Creek Rehabilitation Care Center's food segment. Joining me is our usuals, Jennifer and Andy. And <laughs> Good to know guys, our usual. I've been excited for this one. Pumpkin 